Just grabbing the first cutting tool that's available may not always be the most productive choice. A 90 degree cutter, for instance, is commonly used for face milling, but it's not the most productive choice. There are many milling concepts on the market today, and each is designed to perform specific tasks. In this episode, we'll discuss the effect that a cutter with a 45 degree lead angle has on the milling process. The lead angle of your cutter has a dramatic effect on not only the chips that you generate, but also the cutting forces generated in both the axial and the radial direction. A 45 degree cutter should be your first choice for face milling. A 90 degree cutter can be easily used as a face mill, but it won't be as productive or as cost effective as using a 45 degree tool. With a square shoulder cutter, your programmed feed rate is equal to your actual chip thickness. The rule of thumb regarding lead angles on milling cutters is as the lead angle decreases, so does the chip thickness. And because of this, you have the opportunity to increase your feed rates. In summary, a milling cutter designed with a 45 degree lead angle is a smart choice for general purpose face milling operations, reducing vibration on long overhangs, and machining short chipping materials, such as gray cast iron. For more smart tips, contact one of our specialists or visit us at the Sanvit Cormont website.